Good morning on this Monday, Thursday morning in Holy Week. I hope that you are well and I pray that over the next few days you find significance and you find a place and a connection with Christ. So this morning we're going to read from the Gospel of Luke, uh, chapter 23, and then I'll share a few thoughts and some prayers. So we'll read now. Then the whole assembly rose and led him off to Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, We have found this man subverting our nation. He opposes payments of taxes to Caesar and claims to be Messiah, a king. So Pilate asked Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? You have said so, Jesus replied. Then Pilate announced to the chief priests in the crowd, I have found no basis for a charge against this man, but they insisted. He stirs up the people all over Judea by his teaching. He started in Galilee and has come all the way here. On hearing this, Pilate asked if the man was a Galilean. When he learned that Jesus was under Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who was also in Jerusalem at that time. When Herod saw Jesus, he was greatly pleased because for a long time he had been waiting to see him. From what he had heard about him, he hoped to see him before a sign of some sort. He plied him with many questions, but Jesus gave him no answer. The chief priests and the teachers were standing there vehemently accusing him. Then Herod and his soldiers ridiculed and mocked him, dressed him in an elegant robe, then sent him back to Pilate. That day Herod and Pilate became friends. Before this they had been enemies. Pilate called together the chief priests, the rulers of the people, and said to them, You brought me this man as one who was inciting the people to rebellion. I have examined him in your presence and have found no basis for your charges against him. Neither was Herod, for he sent him back to us. As you can see, he has done nothing to deserve death. Therefore, I will punish him and then release him. But the whole crowd shouted, Away with this man! Release Barabbas to us! Barabbas had been thrown into prison for an insurrection in the city and for murder. Wanting to release Jesus, Pilate appealed to them again. But they kept shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! For the third time he spoke to them, Why? The crime has, what crime has this man committed? I have found him no grounds for the death penalty. Therefore, I will have to punish him and then release him. But with loud shouts, they insisted, demanding that he be crucified, and their shouts prevailed. So Pilate decided to grant their demand. He released the man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder, the one they asked for and surrendered Jesus to their will. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we know that we at the moment are in difficult and troubling times and there's an awful lot going on and there's a lot being said on the media. Who should take responsibility and who's not taking responsibility and who's done things right and who's done some things wrong. And I was running in the Pinewoods the other day and I saw a gentleman who was walking to the beach with a pile of beer under his arm and I asked him if this was part of his daily exercise and he giggled at me nervously and walked on and I got really frustrated and angry and, and told him that he shouldn't be doing that and I wasn't particularly nice in how I addressed him. I kind of had this self-righteous anger of what I thought should happen. I also noticed that the footballers have been accused of lots of things recently as they are very, very wealthy people and how are they contributing and lots of people have been quick to accuse and condemn them. And then I noticed last night they've set up a fund to give away a bunch of their salary to help those people in need. Now I'm not saying what the footballers have done or what this gentleman did yesterday is right or wrong. 
But I think there's an interesting observation when we look at this story of Monday Thursday, of a whole load of people having their own self-righteous anger and then trying to pass the book. They're looking to somebody else to deal with the problem, somebody else to make the decision. The Pharisees want Pilate to make the decision. Pilate wants Herod to make the decision. Herod doesn't want to make a decision at all. Everyone wants to be angry and self-righteous, but no one wants to take responsibility. And who takes responsibility? Jesus. The person that hasn't done anything wrong. The person that is just doing what God has asked him to do. And he takes responsibility in this difficult situation. As we start to enter these last few days of Holy Week. I encourage us to consider our own responses. And that sometimes we can decide what other people have done wrong. And I want us to focus on ourselves. On our own relationship. On our own place of asking Christ for forgiveness. Of our own responsibility for who we are and what we do. And asking Christ to forgive us and help us to be in a place of redemption. Because although Friday Jesus dies, he rises again on Sunday. And let us get our hearts prepared over the next couple of days. So that we get away from anything that's self-righteous or anything that's our sin and condemnation. And we take responsibility for who we are and give it to Christ so we are ready for his resurrection on Sunday. I'm just going to pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we give to you this time, we give to you these situations that we're in, and we ask you to take it all, to take responsibility. And to Lord that you look after people, that people that are sick can be healed and that we as your people can represent you well. Lord I pray for all those that are hurting. I pray that you help them and you comfort them. Lord I pray for all those that are helping and that are active and that can be. Lord I pray that you give them energy and encouragement and that they know the support of others behind them. And Lord, I pray as we come into Holy Week, we can come and we can reflect and we can sit with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us.